are about to get weird, okay? So I hope you have some wine. You're sitting down and you're drinking your wine. Okay, here goes. It's bang time, everybody. It's bang time. Together at home. Bang time. Uh, what do you want to do? Hey guys, it's Kara. Welcome to Champagne Taste on a Beer Budget. And today I'm doing my first ever PR haul. Yes, can you believe? So, um, at the end of February was the one year mark that I started my YouTube channel here, my Champagne Taste and a Beer Budget channel. And uh, yeah, so I've gotten some PR and I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, so you can see what small influencers get as PR. And um, yeah, let's just jump into it. So as I'm um, unboxing, I can talk to you guys a little bit. This is the first time I've filmed in a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks. Um, I decided to self-isolate um, a couple of weeks ago because um, I was caring for an elderly family member. Um, and I do have in the can, as the experts say, or the pros say, uh, a couple of TJ Maxx videos that I haven't put up yet. So those are from early March. Uh, I'm still going to get those up because as we all know, the TJ Maxx's are now closed. So <laughs> it's brand new material. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, we are doing good. Uh, we're, you know, just sheltering in place or whatever it is you call it. Uh, but we're going to have some um, fun videos here. As you guys know, I live right by the ocean and I'm going to do this little series where we're going to go on little ocean walks. And it's going to be during the day and nice and relaxing. So if you're, uh, if you're not by one of the coasts and you just want to see some oceanside scenery um, with some relaxing music and I will turn off my annoying voice uh, then come on by and see that so I shot one today and I hope to edit it uh, I won't do much editing I'll just edit out the wind noises and put in some music and that should go up tomorrow so um, the first company by the way let me know how you guys are doing um down in the comments section how you're feeling if you're not feeling so great if you're feeling anxious i totally get it i suffer from anxiety myself um i'm having a good day today i'm in a positive mood so i wanted to come on here and just spread some positivity and to do what the other youtubers are doing which is just to provide content to get your minds off of stuff you know, like not happy stuff. Um, okay, so got my trusty knife. Um, the first company that ever sent me uh, PR was Practic. And Practic is the sister company of Sigma brushes. Um, the same owners of Sigma created Practic. And Practic is the affordable brush line when compared to Sigma. So uh, what we have here is I was sent a few things. Um, and their brushes are the red handle ones. Oh, we get to see a little sunset in the background. This face is east, so you don't see much sunset action. Um, this is the little Practic highlighter brush. And I am not lying when I say that this is my favorite highlighter brush. I also love the fact that it's red because all my other brushes seem to be black. It's so easy to pick it out. And I'm going to show you it compared to my Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35. So that's my Sigma. This is my Practic. So they're not meant to be exact dupes. But look at the ferrule. The ferrule looks identical, doesn't it? Uh, but the Practic brushes, these go for $9 and under. I think this one's $9. So I do not have a uh, discount code or affiliate code, uh, but I will leave a link down below to Practic 
and occasionally they do have free shipping and this is great for highlighting. I love this. So then they also sent me a sponge and this is the Practic Power Blender and it's blue like that and I've searched the house and I can't find it. So uh, I was using it and I have to say that it's a little more firm than what I'm used to. It's a little more firm than the orange Real Technique sponges, for example, and then the Beauty Blender is softer than the Real Techniques, in my opinion. Um, but it works great, it's also affordable, and what Practic is very well known for is they created this. This is the palm mat. This is something you use to uh, wash your brushes. It's a cleaning tool and you take it, I, I take mine and I just put it in the sink and it's designed so that uh, the little drain cap is right here so that the water can go down because some of those brush mats like go over your drain cap and then the water doesn't go down. So this goes around your little drain cap and then it has a few different surfaces, little, little, bigger, medium, and you can also see there's suction cups so it sticks to your sink. My other ones didn't have that either. And then this you can wear on your hand like so. And that's why it's called the palm mat because you can wear it like that. And then you could take your brush and dip it in the soap and then do it on here and then flip it over and do the other side. Uh, that's one thing about being holed up in the house. You can wash a lot of brushes. Moving along, um, next up I have a package from Wander Beauty and I did post about this on my Instagram a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, um, it was National Last Day, gorgeous on the go. Uh, thank you Practic for sending me my first ever PR box, I really appreciate that. Um, as a new YouTuber I really really appreciate that. Uh, and moving on to Wander Beauty. So, they sent me the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Rose Gold Under Eye Masks. And believe it or not, I've never tried these. I know they've come in a lot of subscription boxes. I've just never gotten around to trying them. So, um, look at how cute these boxes are. It's so fun for me to have seen so many um, PR boxes opened and then to like actually have them in my house. It's fun. It's fun. Uh, Wander Beauty sent over the Unlashed and I haven't tried these yet either um, in my subscription boxes. The Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara and then the Mile High Club Volume and Lengthening Mascara. So this one is the Unleashed and this one is the Mile High and I'm excited, always excited to try new mascaras. Thank you so much Wander Beauty, I so appreciate it. And I will leave a link down below for the uh, Wander Beauty mascaras. Um, next up I got from Ren Skincare. And they sent over, this is a new product. This is the Ren Perfect Canvas Clean, what is it? Clean Jelly Oil Cleanser. So this is a 3.3 ounce size. And I think this would be perfect to travel with so that I wouldn't have to uh, bring my uh, liquid oil. I use um, Saturday Skin for like a liquid oil cleanser. Uh, so I've tried this out. This is pretty good as well. Thank you, Ren Skincare. So, oh my god, we're losing, we lost light so fast. Oh man, I was like trying to like rush to um, do this, but I guess I was dilly-dallying too much. So, um, next up we have, um, well, I got an email. I got an email from Good Molecules and they are the affordable skincare brand for Beautylish. And they emailed me, they asked me if I would like to try some of their skincare and they were so kind. They said, hey, what are your skin concerns? 
um, you know, what type of skin do you have? Is it wrinkles? Is it acne? So I sent them some information and they were just going to magically uh, put together a box for me. So uh, here the box came and I'm so excited because now I'm officially on the Good Molecules PR list. So they've been sending me multiple boxes. I have three more boxes from them. So that's really exciting just to be on someone's PR list officially. And this is like my first card that someone gave me from Beautylish. I uh, hope you enjoy Good Molecules. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. Cheers from Serene. So I will probably take this card and save it and put it somewhere special because, you know, it's just nice. Um, and I, as I'm hanging out with my knife here, um, I have been using this. It's very affordable. Um, prior to Good Molecules, I was using an AHA toner by The Ordinary. So I am uh, have been using this. This is the Niacinamide Brightening Toner. I think I'm down to here. So this is a nice heavy glass bottle. I will leave a link down below to the Good Molecules line. I do not have an affiliate code. I, I'm i on the PR list. I could get taken off any time. I don't know. Uh, so, you know, all the all my opinions are going to be honest opinions. Um, the Nice Semi Brightening Toner. This is great. And then they sent over two little oils. And the oils are uh, 0.44 ounce. So the oils are small. They are a little smaller than, than a half ounce. One, <laughs> here's like a piece of fuzz. One is the Ultra Hydrating Facial Oil, this guy. And then this guy is the Squalane Oil. I do like these because they're both nice and light. Uh, previously I was using some maracuja oil and now that I'm using these they're just nice and light and I won't go back to maracuja. And then they sent over um, a serum. It's a niacinamide serum and to be honest I have not used this one yet because um, I have a niacinamide already open from the ordinary so I didn't want to open this one and just you know be wasteful uh, but this is a good little serum as well um, i like that these products are just simple that they have not very many ingredients and in that when they label them they just label them what they are niacinamide serum or rose hip oil you know exactly what you're getting so i like that style of skincare Here's another Good Molecules, and this one says, handpicked in Patagonia, Austral of Chile. And there's a note on the back about, um, at Good Molecules, we prefer to directly source our ingredients. Um, the end result is lower prices for our customers and peace of mind for, from the ethical sourcing. And this little, cute little bag, how cute is that? had this in it. This is the Pure Cold Press Rose Hip Oil. And I have to admit that I wasn't using those other two oils as much because I've been using this guy. So this is the Rose Hip Oil. It has no scent. It does not smell like roses. Uh, it's very nice. It's very lightweight. It absorbs very well. So here's another one from Beautylish. And um, when did this one come? Uh, oh, this is the brand new one. Okay, this is this is the brand new one. Um, really new, actually. Um, the, it has on here the Clarify and Cleanse Bar. And I think that this was in the latest Trend Mood box. Uh, here. This is the Good Molecules Clarifying Cleanse Bar. Soap-free formula. Doesn't strip your skin and it helps clear skin and prevent blemishes. So this is only $8. This is super new. Maybe this one was in the Trend Mood box. This is the Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Eye Patches. It's $18 for 60 patches. And I'm excited because like I never really have eye patches so that's it plastic jar and I'll be trying these out tonight so we get a little spatula and then we 
have some goopy stuff, but then you can see the little uh, patches are in the goopy stuff. So it's so fun that they send me stuff. So this is the brand new stuff. And I think this is something that I got about three weeks ago. Um, this product was in the third Trend Mood box. The second, I forget. Maybe the second. <laughs> I forget. Um, this is the Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. And it, oh, look at this. This is cute. Don't get breakouts from silicone. Good molecules. It's so pretty. And then we have our pink wrap. And there's a cute little box. Good molecules. And look at this guy. So this is the Good Molecules uh, Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. And I love the fact that this is a priming moisturizer, that it's a moisturizer. And I don't have to do two steps. So it's also a large size. A lot of primers are one ounce. This is 1.7, so I think I just pumped out a lot. Uh, but hey, maybe going silicone free for primers, I don't know, maybe that's something I should do. This is super affordable, so um, I'll leave the price right here. Woohoo! So thank you Good Molecules for all of that great stuff. I'm so excited to be on the uh, PR list officially. It's so exciting. I also have a makeup. I have real life makeup as PR. This is from a indie makeup company and I didn't want to ruin this price and I was really good. I did not open this and I'm so excited. This is my first PR makeup. So that was so kind of them. And who is this magical company? It's Rude Cosmetics and I'm excited. So here's their logo. It is, well, makeup with an attitude. And yeah, makeup with an attitude. So I guess that matches me, maybe? Look, my phone's talking to me. Oh, how cute, look at the box. It says, hello, gorgeous. Who are they talking to? Does anyone not feel gorgeous lately because we're all like in the house and stuff? Oh, like let's address the elephant in the room. The white. I had to cancel my hair appointments um, starting a couple of weeks ago. So we're going to be seeing some white growing in. I might have to demo some of those like temporary hair root uh, fixer upper thingies. I was looking at them last night online. So, oh, this is exciting. Okay, so we have um, a glow primer oil. We have a lipstick. We have a blush. And I'm gonna show you a little bit better. Uh, an attitude matte lipstick, but here is the big mac daddy of the box this is so exciting look this is a 35 eyeshadow palette look at that what a fun time to get like to open this box i feel like it's christmas and look at this lady she looks like a female james bond like when is that going to happen when are we finally going to get a female james bond this is called rudimentary spy shadows this is book seven if you go to their site they have a whole series of these um comic book looking eyeshadow palettes and yeah look yes how cute and it looks like we could do some rosy pink looks as well as some deeper plum looks and this one looks like a really pretty ooh copper it looks like a really nice copper and i also think that these are pretty affordable as well so I will leave a link down below to Rude Cosmetics. Thank you so much, Rude Cosmetics. We still have to look through that whole box, though. I'm definitely going to be doing um, a video using these. This is the Ombre Blush, Amiga Ombre Blush in Josefina. Cute. Look, that is the uh, package. Ooh, okay, look. 
This reminds me of the um, Ofra blushes that are um, have the stripes on them. So we can swirl them to around. See what we come up with. And yeah, it's definitely like a corally pink. I definitely went for the deeper shade down below. But if we were going for just the lighter shade, then nice versatility. What else do we have? Uh, oh, wishes do come to glow primer oil. I think I was watching uh, Yari, or does she pronounce it J Jari? Uh, Yari G. She had some Rude Cosmetics, and I believe that she used this and said that it was really good, so I wanted to check it out. So we have to shake it up. It has like a little genie in a bottle on it, and oh yeah, it's very, very light. Oh yeah, that's super, super, super light. This is called Rose Gold Glow, so uh, nice. So while I open these lip boxes that are um, secure, what have you guys been doing with your free time? Have you been binge watching? Anything good you need to know about? Um, 90 Day Fiance, I love 90 Day Fiance. Um, what have you guys been watching? I need to know um, anything on Netflix. And Oh, cheer, I haven't started watching that yet. Uh, okay, this one is, what is this? This is Pussy Cat's Purr. And does it tell us a little bit more about it? Oh, this is a lip primer. <laughs> it says Pussy Cat's Purr Lip Primer. Yes, that's why I chose this. I've never had a lip primer like that before. Like the only lip primer I've ever had. Look at that. That is so cool. The only lip primer I ever had was that MAC Prep and Prime. That's like the long one. But here you get like so much product. So that is cool. Here I am looking at it like for the shade. Hello. Uh, and then we have a lipstick. This is Attitude Matte Lipstick. And again, we have a cute little box. And um, I already have on um, lipstick. I have on Bobbi Brown Rosewood, I think it is. And this is like a slim lipstick, so very nice. Check that one out. Ooh, okay, so this is, a, this is really nice. This is Pinky Rose. And the formula is very soft. It's not like a really hard lipstick. Uh, it just kind of glides on very well. It doesn't skip on your skin. So that is so nice. So there will certainly be a video for Rude Cosmetics. And something else that has happened um, PR-wise in the last month was that I got accepted into the Octoly program. And Octoly is a program for influencers where you apply and they um, have to approve you based upon your subscribers, your views, um, the criteria, I'm not quite sure. I kept applying for about nine months <laughs> and I just, I so wanted to be uh, just in the Octoly family. And what it is, is it's a website that you go, uh, well, once you get approved and you can choose products to review. So uh, I have chosen some products and uh, here is my review. So the first one that I chose was a duo. It was from Clarins. So Clarins gifted me these two products. We have here the day cream and the night cream. This is the Nutra Lumiere Duo. The blue one is the night. And this is a nourishing, rejuvenating night cream. And it's, it's pro-aging nutrition care. So if you're into, um, well, I'm anti-aging. Maybe, <laughs> maybe pro-aging nutrition care. I don't know, don't think you should say anti-aging. But hey, I'm aged, it's too late. Um, this is the day one with the red, and this is um, Nourishing Revitalizing Day Cream. So I've been using these for a few weeks now. I will have the link down below. It's an Octoly link. 
so I do not make a um, percentage or whatever it's just so Octoly can see where the sale came from and I use these both it both they both went very well they're both very expensive um, each bottle is uh, I do believe of a $100 so they were quite lovely and I have to admit I was a little bit partial to the night cream um, this does have a bit of a floral scent and it is not like a heavy cream it's more like a nice gel if you can see that and this really felt very luxurious and nice and i don't know i just really fell in love with the night cream and yeah it's just lovely it absorbs very well i didn't have any reaction to it um whether or not it uh, took away years of aging, well, does anything really take away years of aging? But I also only used it for about three weeks, so it would take uh, a bit longer to really see noticeable results, such as claiming that my lines are suddenly disappearing or spots are suddenly disappearing. But uh, three weeks was a great enough, a good enough time for me to figure out that I thought this was very, very lovely. And it, it feels very luxurious and nice. And this is the day cream. And yeah, on the bottom, it's metal. And it says made in France. And it's so cute. Uh, and I, ha I put a little date label on it. That's something that I'm starting to do when I open skincare. And I'm trying to do it with makeup uh, when I remember. But yeah, this day cream also very nice. I've been using it the last few weeks. So the last couple of weeks I really haven't been wearing makeup because I've been busy doing things uh, relating to <laughs> um, what's going on out there in the world. But um, I don't have a lot of experience with this being underneath makeup. But this is also like a pinky, it feels like it's a water gel almost, but it's certainly a cream. And I found this one, uh, I guess, a little bit more uh, florally scented for some reason. For, for some reason, the night one um, was a little bit less scented. I thought then this one but the scent is very very light floral uh, but still if you're sensitive to scents then that is something that you might want to try it in store when the stores reopen um, before you put in a hundred and forty dollars or something like that um, or maybe have the company send you a sample that's that's a good idea so this one I thought was good uh, but I really like the night one. I thought the night one was great. Um, so thank you, Clarence and Octoly. Octoly for accepting me into the program. And uh, Clarence were gifting me this, the Nutri Lumiere Day and Night Creams. And I have one more. What? One more. One more. Okay, so here's one from Octoly. And um, things are about to get weird, okay? So I hope you have some wine. You're sitting down and you're drinking your wine because I decided I wanted to do something fun. And <laughs> um, so this is what we're doing. Bangs, bangs. I got bangs, clipping bangs. <laughs> And she looks good with them, right? I just remember one time that um, Kim Kardashian, who always wore her hair back and looked gorgeous, one day she just had these clipping bangs, and I was fascinated by it. Um, this is easy. One, two, three. Instructions inside, or go to hairdo slash howto.com. And this is... Uh, the company is Hairdo. Thank you, Hairdo, for gifting me this product. I chose R6, which is dark, 
chocolate. And I don't normally wear my hair back like this because instead of a forehead, I have like a five head. So maybe with all my gray hair coming in, maybe this could be my new thing. Oh, I know you guys are jealous. Look, look at that. I think it's too dark for me, maybe. So it was hard figuring out the shade, but uh, maybe if I wear them in YouTube videos and you only see the front of my head, maybe um, it'll work out. So this tells us that we part our hair in the center and we secure two front clips into the front hairline and then attach the center clip, blend, and go. Only there's no way you can go anywhere. <laughs> um, this is synthetic hair. You can flat iron, curl it, or blow dry it. Um, all right, and it's made up of seven to 11 shades to blend naturally with your own hair color. Okay, you never know. It looks a little bit dark right now. It looks a little bit dark, but we're gonna do this. Um, okay, so we're going to part our hair in the middle, getting a nice glimpse of all of those gray hairs. Do you think this is gonna work? This is something that like I can scare Pat with, like put it in his bed and he'll think it's, you know, a foreign creature. Okay, so what do we think about the shade? I'm thinking it's it's not, it's not too bad. It might actually um, be perfect. I don't quite know. Okay, so this is what, this is what we have. So we have to go like this. Oh God. Me having bangs is gonna make me look about 10, 15, 20 pounds heavier than I already am. Why did I do this again? Okay, here goes. It's bang time, everybody. It's bang time. Together at home. Bang time. What do you want to do? So there's one clip there and then there's one clip there, and then there's one little clip over here. And I do believe that I have I have not had bangs since I think I was in college. <laughs> I'm gonna go down and tell Pat that I just did a video where I cut my own bangs. He lo he has no idea that I'm doing this. Okay, is the light high enough? Hi, look at me. I'm champagne of your budget. I just gained 15 pounds. I must look like much more fat with these bangs. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, we're indoors. We have to do things to entertain ourselves. And that's what I'm doing. I'm doing bangs. Okay, I just looked and I just moved a light. I just looked in the mirror and so you have to like take this and just move it over here a little bit. Like the side part, the side pieces. Um, so um, I'm gonna go downstairs and tell Pat that I cut my hair in the video because I was bored and we'll see if he likes this. He's he's so nice that he's gonna lie and say that he really likes it, even if it looks really bad. Um, I kind of I kind of like it. I like the fact that you cannot see my grays, that it's covering all my grays. Maybe this is a great thing. So okay, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna switch to my um, camera phone and um, I'm gonna be right back. But first, we're going to adjust the bangs because if I go down like this, he'll probably say that it looks nice. So this is what we're gonna do. Ooh, these are secure. Oh, they, cl oh, they clip.
they actually clip, you know, like, like this, like, clip like that. It would have been a lot easier for me to do that, had I known that. Okay, so I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put them back like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them really far back and make my hair look really, really bad and then see if he tells me that he likes my new haircut. Oh yeah, that, oh this is really easy, okay. So here's one. Okay. reminds me in eighth grade when Donna, Donna, you know who you are, when she cut her own bangs <laughs> and they were up here. Poor thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ask Pat if he likes my new hair. Because, like, I don't know, my, my gray roots are really bothering me and stuff. Yeah. So, I don't know if you're gonna like it. What are you, what? What are you doing? Oh, very nice, dear. What? Very nice. I think it takes away from the, um, gray hair. Do you like it? Um, those fake bangs? What? Those fake bangs. What are fake bangs? What you have on your head. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I thought that when I cut it, that it would be like more long, but then they bounced up. Hey, they're very nice. You like it? Yes, yeah. Do I look fatter? No, you don't look fat, <laughs> Liar. Violet. Do you like my bangs? Pat is here, Violet. Violet doesn't know who I am. <laughs> Violet, do you like my bangs? Violet, it's me, Mommy. It's Mommy. Violet, it's Mommy. It's she doesn't know her mother. Oh my, don't bark at me. It's just bangs. You're so judgmental. This, this is terrible. That's, that's so, dogs are supposed to be your best friend and you're being judgmental. Well, as you could see, Pat is super nice and he told me that it looked nice. Um, but my dog hates them, and my dog does not recognize me, apparently, because she's making snarly noises and backing up. Um, I didn't mention the fake bangs in the last couple of weeks, but, like, I might have mentioned the fake bangs, like, when I ordered them, like, four weeks ago, and he remembered. I'll have to um, trick him another way. There's plenty of time to play tricks in this house. So I hope you... <laughs> They're really secure, you guys. They're really secure. I'd like to um, adjust them and close this with not looking like a maniac. But, um, yeah, we're just going to do it. So I hope you liked my first PR haul. And we have some good stuff coming up. I have... Um, just a haul video with tons of stuff. Um, I have Essence, Alta, Colourpop. Um, I have stuff from Korea. I have stuff from Great Britain. I have stuff from, obviously, uh, the United States. And, uh, it's gonna be fun. And then we're going to have our beach walks. And we're going to have my TJ Maxx video. So please hit the notification bell so you're made aware of when those videos, uh, go live. And if you want bangs like this, you can go to hairdo uh, and the information will be down below. 
they did look much better before I made myself look like a emo person. Um, but bye guys, stay safe, wash those hands, I'll see you guys later, thanks for joining me, bye!